Welcome to the ancient land of Palestine, a cradle of history and cultural richness, where civilizations have thrived for centuries. From the times of the Canaanites, the Israelites, the Romans, to those of the Ottomans, empires have risen and fallen on this soil. Then came the upheaval of World War I, and the reins of this ancient land fell into the hands of the British Empire. They made a promise of self-determination for for the Palestinians but paradoxically issued the Balfour Declaration in 1917, pledging support for a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine. Talk about giving with one hand and taking away with the other. This brought about heightened tensions between Jews and Arabs. Fast forward to the late 19th and early 20th centuries and waves of Jewish immigrants began arriving in Palestine from different corners of the world. Russia, Poland, Morocco, Morocco, Yemen, Egypt, Ethiopia, and more. But here's a conundrum, if they all hailed from different places, how could they all be ethnic Jews? How could they all belong to different races, some brown, some black, and some white? The question of their belonging here or their religious connection to this land was a puzzle in itself. Now, zoom into 1947, United proposed a partition plan, a plan to divide Palestine into separate Jewish and Arab states, with Jerusalem as an international city. The Jews embraced the idea, but the Palestinians and their neighbors turned it down, citing the betrayal of the McMahon Hussein correspondence that promised support for an independent Arab state. Despite outcry 1948, Israel declared independence, triggering the first Arab-Israeli war. Numerous Palestinian Arabs were displaced from their homes, becoming refugees in neighboring countries or confined to camps within Palestine. It's worth noting here that while Israel allows indigenous people to claim their Israeli nationality, these Palestinians who fled their homes during the first Nakba are not permitted to return, raising questions about whether this could be considered a form of apartheid. The situation spiraled into chaos. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict persisted, marred by violence, occupation, and unsuccessful peace talks. Palestinians found living under harsh Israeli military rule in the West Bank and Gaza Strip, their freedoms and basic rights severely curtailed. Complicating matters further, Israelis continued to build settlements in the occupied territory of the West Bank, disregarding Palestinians' claims to their land. So, you may ask, even in the West Bank where Hamas holds no sway, why do Palestinians continue to face numerous difficulties under Israeli occupation? If Israel truly desires peace, why the constant harassments, the usurping of their homes and lands? These are questions that are yet to find satisfactory answers.